Now what we have is a harder equation to graph. Okay, uh, in this case, we don't have it already solved for y. And so one of the very first things you're going to have to learn to do in a lot of this is get the equation into y equals form. So I'm going to try and get y by itself equal to something. Now, at most, you are two steps away from that. The first step, any term that doesn't have a y in it, take it to the other side of the equation. Okay, so when I take that to the other side of the equation, I get 2y equals minus 3x plus 10. You will find it useful to put the x term first, even if it's negative. The second step, so there's step 1. The second step is whatever number is in front of the letter y, divide by it. So I'm going to divide this by 2, this by 2, and this by 2. Okay, so there is step 2. Whatever number is in front of the letter y, you divide by it. And at that point, this 2 and this 2 will cancel, and you're going to be left with y equals. Okay, now I'm going to pull this down, and I like to put my equals y on the right-hand side. I pull this down, minus 3x over 2, 10 divided by 2 is plus 5, equals y. Okay, so I always write it in reverse. I get the y on the right-hand side. Now what I can do is I'm going to write this equation three times. Wherever I see the letter x, I'm going to put a bracket. Now that I've written it three times, I'm going to pick out any old x number I want. And here is where you can start to look ahead, and you can see you're going to be dividing by 2. So my suggestion is when you pick out an x, make it an even number. Um, let's make it uh, negative 4, 0, and 6. Okay you're allowed to use any x, so pick numbers that 2 will go into, since in this fraction we're going to have to divide by 2. Okay, take these numbers and plop them into the bracket. Take these numbers and plop it into the bracket. Take this number and plop it into the bracket. Now, I do negative 3 times negative 4, that's positive 12. I divide by 2, that sets and 6 plus 5 is 11. So there's my first partners for the dance. Negative 4 is going to go to the dance with 11. Now I do negative 3 times 0. Well, anything times 0 is 0. 0 divided by 2, 0 divided by anything is 0, and 0 plus 5 is 5. So you can see that 0 and 5 are very useful to work with. Negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. Negative 18 divided by 2, that's negative 9. And negative 9 plus 5 is negative 4. So 6 is going to go to the dance with uh, negative 4. Okay, let's plot those points. I'll call that point A, point B, point C. So down here, my first point to plot is negative 4 and 11. So I go across to negative 4, and I go up to 11, and there is my point A. The next point to plot, 0 and 5. So I go across 0, and I go up 5, and there is my point B. My third point, 6 and negative 4. So I go across 6, I go down to negative 4, and there is my point C. Okay, I go across 6, down to negative 4. If you have done everything correctly, then a straight line 
through the points, arrows on either end, is the proper way to finish off that graph. Okay, and of course you should probably use a ruler to make it more neat. So that's how you graph something where you originally do not have the original equation solved already for y. Two steps. Take the three x to the other side and divide by the number in front of the two and automatically you have it solved for y.